Warning, this video will contain spoilers for Falcon and the Winter Soldier finale. Please back out now if you don't want to be spoiled. Thank you. Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today's a brand new Pierce Custom Minifigure tutorial. And in today's video, this is the my custom minifigures for the finale of Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I just wanted to give you that warning. If you're still here, um, I'm I apologize, but I gave you a warning at the beginning of this video to get out. So, uh, there you go. Um, anyway, two characters, and I I think these turned out great. Um, I think I made better customs, but I think I I captured the resemblance quite nicely of these characters. So let's take a look at both of them right now. All right, guys. So up first, we have Captain uh, Captain America. Let's back out to get that focus. Let's back out one more time. There we go. So as you can see here, we have new Captain America. I just used the shield from Captain America uh, Endgame version. I took the hair and the face. I'm sorry. I apologize about the lighting there. There we go. Better. I took the hair and the face from Falcon. Makes sense because we don't have that new. There will be a CMF on this figure later this year, which I will be getting. So that'll be quite cool to have that upgraded figure, the actual Lego figure. But for the custom, I took, you know, Falcon's head. I took the torso from Captain America Age of Ultron. I just like that look. I think it looks like the one in the show. Best resemblance of the figure. And then I took these arms from Frozone. This kind of captured like the nice blue and white look for my figure. To, I was looking through my figures and I'm like, I think Frozone would work the best. I took these maroon hands. I took them from um, one of the Iron Man Mark V just because of nice maroon hands. And then I took the legs from Detroit Steel and to give them that like Falcon American look, uh, red, white, and blue stripes suit. So there you go. And, uh, and then the shield from Endgame Cap. So that's how I made Falcon. Captain America Falcon, um, but but he still goes by Captain America. Let me get that shield in there, looking nice and all suited up. So there's Captain America Falcon, but he goes by Captain America now because he's um, actually Cap. So so I hope you guys like that figure for Cap. And then the next, the the last second figure I made, I I don't know why I said it like that. The last second figure, did that make any sense? Logic there, guys. Is U.S. Agent. It's not Captain America, but it's U.S. Agent. And I think this turned out quite nicely. I actually like it, even though it's dark right there, as you can see in the light. Um, so I took Hank Pym's helmet. I was scroll looking through my, browsing through my stuff, and I was like, what helmet can I use? I took Hank Pym's helmet. Even though it's an, an Ant-Man helmet, I think it looks quite nice on him, like that. If you take it off, um, I took the bearded look of Captain America, um, like I did for that other John Walker custom, because I like that bearded look for John Walker. Put that on him. Looks quite nice. I took the dark version of Captain America's uh, torso from um, Infinity War to give him like that black look. And then I gave him black arms and then these dark brown hands from the same Captain America that that comes with, the torso comes with. And then the legs come from Ant-Man, from Ant-Man and the Wasp to give him that nice black and red look. So there you go. Those are both the characters I made from the Falcon and Winter Soldier finale. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Oh my gosh, my like is, my thumb is big. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the LEGO Dude 11 channel. As always, don't forget to follow me over at Boba Fit Jedi Master on Instagram for new LEGO and more content, personal content like my job. You can check out things for my job. You can check out piano posts, much, much more than Lego. But as always, don't forget to follow me over there at Boba Fett Jedi Master on Instagram. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye-bye, everyone. See you in June, June 11th, for Loki Customs. And in May, possibly Bad Batch Customs. And much more um, content coming out in May. This summer is going to be a blast. So thank you, Sticker, for coming to my Falcon and Winter Soldier Customs. Cannot wait to catch you here in June 11th for the Loki Customs. And as always, don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. Bye, everyone.